first off, I apologize for the weird kind of angle of this video. I tried my best to fix it as well I could because as I was setting up to film this, genius me broke my freaking tripod. One of the legs popped right off and will not go back on. So I went on Amazon to repurchase the same one and apparently it will not be coming until the end of January. Great, right? So I'm still ordering it. And whenever it shows up, it shows up. I also ordered an aluminum one that hopefully will do okay in the meantime, but it'll still be about a week before that one comes up. So until that shows up, I'm literally trying to make do with the remains of the old tripod with only being on two legs, and I curled them around in a sort of a circle, so it may rock back and forth a bit, but it kind of is doing what I need it to do, so hopefully it'll suffice for like the next week until that alumina one shows up. Who knows, maybe I'll end up liking it more than I ended up liking the octopus one, so we shall see. Anyway, getting right along with this uh, comparison video, I'm also a review, uh, we are comparing the Red Velvet Cupcake with the Pink Frosted Cupcake Revos. Mostly because I thought it'd be interesting to do a comparison of the two different cupcake-y flavors. So, let's get started. Seeing as when I first reviewed this, I thought they smelled identical. I since feel otherwise, but they're both cupcake flavors, so we're doing this. Anyway, format, they're both the dome type of lip balm that are solid. Same shape there, but packaging-wise, that's where they differ since this is the old style of Revo and this is the modern style that's octagonal. So as you can see, side by side, octagon, sphere. So there's that. Also, that's metallic, that's not, which anyone with eyes can see that. So anyway, neither of these are organic or natural because they are Revos, therefore they are synthetic. Um, these are both limited edition, although they're parts of different sets. This is part of the Spring or Valentine's Day set that they did earlier this year, um, whereas this is part of the Holiday Jewels collection, which is still being sold since it's the current collection. But yeah, they're both limited edition. The amount of product you get is a fourth of an ounce in both of these. Uh, shelf life on these, let's see, this one expires in... January of 2018, and this one expires in November of 2018. Uh, price point on these, well, since you can't buy this in store anymore, you can only get it on eBay, I don't even know what these are currently going for because since I already have it, it's not like I'm actively looking for it. But when I bought it, it was still kind of decently priced, but since they're currently jacking the price on Revos, that may be another story, especially since you can't buy this one anymore, so yeah, hard to say, but um, yeah. Generally, Revos, when they're still being sold in stores, are only like four bucks tops, but who knows, because limited edition and all. Uh, Sturdiness-wise, I mean, this is sort of a textured hard plastic, whereas this is a smooth hard plastic. They're both hard plastic though, you can hear that, but yeah, this one would be prone to scratches, whereas this one can't really do much to that. So, um, neither of these have SPF, neither of these are medicated, so let's move on to scents. Side by side, so I can give a fair analysis of the difference here. Also, you can see the different colors of the wax. So that one's light pink, ooh, wow, I smell them from here. That's actually a good combo. <laughs> okay, so this one is like a very, very light, um, sort of strawberry-ish, a very light strawberry cupcakey smell. Almost like that pink, light strawberry, um, boxed cake mix you can buy. I think it's, um, might be Betty Crocker, might be Duncan Hines, I don't know which one it is. Whereas this one... Uh, is more of straight up cakey smell like yellow cake. There's a slight hint of chocolate in there, but this one is definitely a heavier scent than this one. Not so much in terms of being super vibrant, but compared to each other, it's heavier than the pink one. And then 
consistency wise, thickness wise, actually all of that seems to be pretty on par with each other, just saying. So there isn't really any difference that I have personally been able to notice on that front. Uh, same with shine factor and the longevity, all of that's the same, so it may be the same um, formulation, sorry, I had to think of the word, same formula that you, they used on both of these in terms of the actual lip balm itself. It's mostly just the packaging and the scent that is different on these. So, personally, I like them both. So I would say that they come in as a tie for me. I can't really pick a favorite, so yeah, I'm gonna take the cheaters way out and just say that it's a tie. So anyway, that's all I have to say on these two, so as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you haven't already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below, and until next time, bye!